Are you considering heading out to Disney's California Adventure to take in the sights, the sounds, and of course the incredible flavors of one of their awesome festivals this year? Well, you have stopped at the right video because today we are down at Lunar New Year and we're going to share with you our top 25 plus some bonus items, tips for how to make the most of your experience. Our first tip is that you simply need this tool and that is the Sip and Saver lanyard. This is not only going to save you a lot of money, but it's going to help you stay on budget and allow you to really taste your way around the festival without any worries at all. If you have a magic key, you are going to get some additional savings on top of everything else that you get by buying the lanyard. So don't miss out on that one. So what we did and what we always recommend doing is we went ahead over to the first booth because there was no line at Bamboo Blessings to order. And we ordered basically all the food we wanted for the day from every booth, as well as two drinks. You can order two drinks per ID. Per ID. Yeah, we only we ordered one each. And so, yeah, I mean, it's fantastic because now we just walk up to the booth and get our food and they will mark off whatever it was that we got. Um, and then you move on to the next one. So it cuts your wait time down significantly. Thank you. So, and here we got the uh, sweet potato it's got macaron. Mickey Mouse shaped purple sweet potato macaron. Yeah. Which is uh, mac red macaron filled with uh, purple uh, sweet potato buttercream. And what's your beer? Uh, it's an IPA. It's a. Uh, the Young Master? Uh, no, Four Sons. Yeah. The Four Sons Lunar New Year IPA. Very cool, out of, Huntington, out of Huntington Beach. So go ahead and give it a taste so we don't spill it while we walk. Wow, okay. I'm so jealous, I want some IPA. All right, let's go. So one thing I do like here is that you, you do have to pay for your liquor separate, but it's a full, like this is a full size beer. It's not yeah, a small a taste pint. of it's beer. So I, I like that they do that. It's not like, I mean, it's nice ah. too that you can get tastes. Oops, I dropped our receipts. Those are important, don't lose those. You were it's just nice saying, that these you can important. don't lose those. I know. It's nice that you can get tastes because you can then try more things. Yeah. But cost-wise, it always feels so expensive to spend like six bucks and it's like a little tiny a little four sampler. or six ounces or something yeah. like that. So this at least you feel like you're getting, you know, kind of a value. Yeah. See Maggie's gonna be upset with us because normally she makes me bring giant ziplocs. Yeah. <gasps> Look at that. You gotta eat his ear. Dude. Oh wow. Look wow. at him, it's beautiful too. What do you that think? Is very good. Yummy? Yep. Yep. There's it... a little bit of uh, like the sweet potato. You can taste the sweet potato coming through. It's very good. And then at the very end, it tastes like uh, a little bit of a strong frosting flavor, like right at the very end. Okay. Which usually I don't like. Right. But, but it's is, not too it's bad. It's like very, very, the very end of it. But nice. Good. Thank you. Ooh, look at that. Look at my drink. My Man. drink is pretty. So what we like to do is go and pick up a few different booths worth of food and then find a great table spot. We're right here. This is a nice, I mean, normally we like to sit, you know, in chairs, but this was, this table opened up and it was clean and nice. And we're right on the parade route. So mm -hmm. that's fantastic. Then you can relax and try several things at one time. I have to say, I feel like the portions are really good. They really are. They're like good. they're not they're as small as Epcot portions. can sometimes be. No, but just kind of nice sometimes because they're just taste. Well, there's just so a, many to get at yeah. Epcot. Yeah. yeah. But price-wise, I feel like the prices are good for the just portions that you're portion. getting. Yeah, yeah. How's that chicken? Very good. Very good. It's got a good kick right at the beginning. It's, it's good. Nice. And that's Very from the flavor. Spice Traders? Red Dragon yep. Spice Traders. Yeah. Anyway, but we wanted to share why it's so cool to come to DCA during one of the festivals. They're really great. They don't take over the park. They tend to be, you know, along the pier area, across from the wharf. They're, this one only has six booths, but there's a lot of great food to be had at the regular standing restaurants, so don't miss out on those. We're definitely going to be checking those out. And they're not even listed on the menus, so it's really important that you kind of spy where those are. Check the website um, for that information. It'll all be listed there. But I think that what's nice about coming to festivals here is that they're not like Epcot where it's always a festival. So like, for instance, this one closes tomorrow. The next one opens, it's Food & Wine. I think it's March 3rd, but it's not for four months. You know, it's a shorter running, it's a shorter running festival. You know, one of our favorite things, which is just hanging out, trying different foods and drinks and visiting and chatting and just watching things 
having a nice relaxing date day so it is such a fun, fun date day yeah. i think it's one of my all-time favorite things to do is just for us to go around and try. I love it with the kids too, but it yeah. does make a great date day. It does. To just get to try food and talk about it. and But, I mean, we love food, so. Yeah. But, and try different drinks and just hang out. I don't know. To me, it's the perfect day. It's a good day, and it turned out to be a nice day. I was a little worried about the weather, but it's Yeah, it's, I mean, chilly, it's crisp. It's, it's definitely cold, but. But we're layered up. Yeah. We're California. Mulan and friends are honored to share the beautiful Chinese traditions and heritage of this joyous holiday. Please join them in welcoming Oswald the Lucky Rabbit as we celebrate the Year of the Rabbit. These guys are so cool. The blooming flower is a comforting symbol for Mulan. As a flower talker, that she will blossom beautifully in her own time. So for instance, this is one of the things that is not listed necessarily on the menu when you get your stuff, but it is available right here, and they even have it on mobile order, which is fantastic. So, and you can use your shrimp, actually don't, don't do mobile order if you have a sip and saver, because you can use it here, but um, really, really cool. This is like our favorite place yeah, really. in all of DCA, <laughs> is to come and hang out here. They have great cocktails. Um, it's a chill nice, place to area. be. Yeah. Great seating. Like yeah, seating I want to know who, what is there? Is there a schedule of who's performing at this stage? Because clearly somebody is. Look how beautiful. Look at the forsythia. I love forsythia. Hold on, let me show you. Look at the forsythia. Just so beautiful with the lanterns and the colors. So. They always have these really cool free things too at DCA that you can do. One of which is these great little like um, little drum fan things. Um, I forget what they're actually called, but they have Hortensia on one side for the Vietnamese New Year of the cat. And then they have Oswald on the other side for the Chinese New Year um, the of the rabbit. the rabbit, yeah.
Another thing I really like is that you can pick up some great educational things. There are these family friendly festival activities. And then over here you've got a little bit of information about how Vietnamese, Chinese, and Korean families celebrate the Lunar New Year, which is really, really cool. I think it's good to take the time to read these things and learn a little bit. Our kids really enjoy it. I mean, even when they're like, they seem uninterested, yeah. later they'll talk about it they'll and I'll be like, up stuff. yeah, like they were like actually. Oscar, he's amazing with that. Yeah, like I realized, like a week oh, later, he'll be like, oh yeah, this and this and this. Yeah, for sure. Right. And And it's like, Huh. So you think like, oh geez, the last thing anybody wants to do at Disneyland is read, but I promise you, it's actually really cool. So I'm hoping these folks come back. You can get your name written in um, um, Chinese characters, uh, which or a word or something that you are uh, thinking. I really wanted to get like love or something since it's Valentine's Day. Ooh, no. And then over here they have New Year wishes, which reminds me of the... Uh, you know, the memories from Dia de los Muertos, how they hang oh, on the yes. chains. They look so beautiful, filling up the whole area. You can see a whole bunch over here. It's just really cool. And these are all things that, like, the kids and the family remembers, right? Cake, and then we also have an egg roll. <gasps> Look at the moose cake. Oh, it looks so pretty. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Are we going to get on in right now? Oh, my Thank heavens. You. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Look at that. Her eyebrows up. He must be happy. Nope. <laughs> and I have to say, I did not look into this to be sure I could have it. I know I can't have the cookie. It's a, I, I choose to be gluten free. I'm not, I don't have an allergy. So. If you are gluten free, please check into this first. If Gray were with me, I would have made sure beforehand. Like Mr. Exactly. Ice, or like you're chasing the ice cream man down the road with your dollar. Yep. 
Exactly. So good, right? Like and it's cold it's like and crisp and beautiful. It's like an instant time warp back to childhood. That's what Disney should be for everybody. Yep. Is those that that sentimental that flavor, that taste. like puts you in that spot of like feeling like you're a kid again. Yeah. You're like me. Coffee ice cream cook. Yes. Yeah. Mom gave me you ran it, Mom! <laughs> She pretty. Look at you over here. I'm so jealous. That. Good God, that's oh, that's what we saw. Jalapeno business. That's how. Oh, I wish it was jalapeno my business. So this is the lychee cocktail that they have here. I tell you what, it's gorgeous. And again, she's a full size cocktail. We'll share this, but oh my heavens. Oh, wow. Wow, that's interesting. It tastes very, it definitely has a sweetness to it, but it's like silky. Mm. It tastes like silk. So this is kind of a crispy bout. Look at that marinara. Oh, this is a fun fusion dish, right? Yes. So it's a, what, a pepperoni pizza bao bun. A pepperoni pizza bao bun in a bed of marinara. I mean, come on. That's like after school delight happening right oh, there. Yeah. Like, come on. You're going to be watching that after school special, crying about those kids, finally having their dreams come true, eating this, <laughs> like your pizza bites. Who, who got to eat something this good after school? I had ramen. It looks like it's cheese flavored bao bun or something. It's only yeah, it definitely has like a, a little bit of a, a coloring to it. So forget what you know about it. It's just full on like pizza bite, right? Yep. It's like a really good pizza pocket. Oh, really but come on. Is that not amazing? Mm. Again, transported back to your childhood, right? Like giving you all the feels like they just, they just cue this stuff up for us, right? Like to feel nostalgic. Yep. Except it's not 40,000 degrees that burns your face off. <laughs> Yes, as soon as you bite into it, you didn't lose the first yeah. eight layers of the roof of your mouth. Right. Anyway, this is what we love. We love coming to a food festival. We love, love, love coming to a DCA food festival. I mean, look, we all know Epcot has the hold on food festivals, but I really think that DCA does a great job. They do. The way they curate what they do and put it together, I really love how they mix a fusion style with everything that they have going on. You know, it really speaks to the local community, it speaks to the tourist community, it it brings in whatever the theme is of the food festival. It's just a great thing. They're fun, they're approachable. There's only six booths. Yeah. I mean, you can go to the restaurants, obviously, and get a lot more. But yeah, and they also have passes at the other restaurants, too. Yeah, but it's nice to be able to say, like, you know, you went and you did it, you know. Sometimes I feel like the ones that they have at Epcot, which I love, is they're huge. There's no way to do that in a day. Oh, yeah, no way. You can totally come and do at least the booth version of this one in a day and in all of the DCA ones. You can come and do a day. You know, snack, ride some rides, hang out, have some fun, chillax, watch some music, yep. and then snack some more and and have a great day. That's why we love this. Yep. Super good. So much fun. But gosh. This is gorgeous. Woo! Jesus. Just go for it. I'm gonna have to like Oh there you go. There we go. Is it dry? Is it spicy? Yeah, a little dry. Spice comes in a little, a little bit. Kind of flat. Oh no! Wah, 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 wah. Hey, they can't all be winners. Yeah, it's a disappointment. But it's still fun. It is.
So for the last of our tabs, we're heading over here to the Garden Grill. And don't forget that you can get these taster sizes of really excellent food. Yeah. Fresh made, right? So we're really excited. We got the kimchi bokumbap yep. and the bulgogi. The bulgogi, Korean pork, the yes. Korean barbecue. So exciting. Ooh. Very good. Gorgeous. Thank wow. You. wow thank you. Oh my heavens. Yes. What? Like, look at these. These are huge. So these are tasting portions, but they're huge. They are huge. So these are the beautiful selections that we just picked up over here at Paradise Grill or Paradise Garden Grill. These are huge and beautiful. And the thing I think that's different is this is from a kitchen. Yeah, it's like um, fresh, it's like a lot fresh. Yeah, so it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be fresh, it's gonna be delicious. Cause they're serving full size portions out of this kitchen of this yeah. for full price. Right. But we used our sip and saver and got these portions got for free. Tasting samples. Or not for free, not but free. with our sip and saver. Right. At a very heavily discounted price. So yeah, this is the bulgogi, and oh. this is the bokumbak. I, I could be saying yes. it wrong. Bokumbak, bokumbak, wow. awesome. kimchi. Oh, they're beautiful. So don't oh, forget yes. to come over to places like the Paradise Garden Grill. Go to Smoke Jumpers. Go to Sonoma Terrace. Go check out the different restaurants all over the park because they're also putting out really great things that you can use your sip and saver for. It's not just the booths. I can't say that enough. It's not just the booths. How is that? What'd you try? The bulgogi? Yes, very good. Yeah? Finishing out the uh Lunar New Year Festival, which was fantastic. It really was. Super, a lot of fun. We were just talking about it to see what we like about it the most. And one of the things, it seems very accessible. Like yeah. a smaller scale, you can do it in one night, one day, and yeah, I mean, today at we, a relaxing pace. We were super and relaxed today. Just enjoy it. What time is it? It's like oh, it's, 7? It's still early, yeah. 7, 7 o'clock, and we didn't show up until noon. Yeah. And we were able to tackle some of the restaurant options, um, all six of the booths. Indeed. We tried so much great stuff. We saw the, the cavalcade, the parade. We also saw um, a performance one of the, the beautiful, group. Uh, beautiful performance from this. Uh, we're going to call it the San Francisco group, but we're going to put the title in here. Yeah, they were because awesome. Oh, I didn't get the name. It's Melody something, but nonetheless, yeah, one of them played the two strings, like Kubo and the two strings. They were uh, it, they were so good. beautifully talented and knowledgeable. And I will say this: the kids and I came yesterday, and we watched them, and they told stories that were totally different than the stories and the information that they shared today. So I feel like you could come and watch the different performances time and time again and yeah, get a totally different the same thing. and then later we came and they were doing a star wars song yeah um i i really enjoy Absolutely. the cultural aspects of coming to the festivals learning about different cultures learning about the foods and learn and but they do it in such a way that it's like you know it, it i mean we had a lote <laughs> you know and that was great I don't think they have that in, in any Asian culture. No, but, but it, it was, was really good. approachable. And we found ourselves sitting and talking about what we knew about different cultures. And like, yeah, that's what you want. You discussion. want something that makes you think like, wow, what do I know? And what don't I know? And wow, I need to spend, I need to look into that. I need to spend more time learning about this yeah, and that. I didn't know this or that. And now I, yep. now I know a little bit more. That is the beauty of anything like this. You bring people in through food music, performances, Culture. and you leave them thinking, I want to learn more about that. I want to understand more about what I don't know about this culture, this place. And I mean, could there be anything more wonderful while we're having fun? Yeah, I don't no. think so. I thought it was amazing. We ate a lot of food today. A lot of food today. And yep. we had two lanyards full. Now we do have a magic key, but $85? Yeah. So much food for $85. Yeah. 
Is that a lot of money? Yes. Was it worth it? Yeah. Yeah. It really was. It was so good. Oh, I love DCA. DCA is one of my absolute favorite U.S. parks. Yeah. He's, uh, he's a Disney so. World guy all the way. Disney World. He's it's Disney World all the way. Disney World, yeah, DCA. After, <laughs> after, after all of Disney World, <laughs> then he's going to say DCA and then Disneyland. Oh, yeah. damn. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. 